Here we have sloppy sleazebag and full-time Trump acolyte Steve Bannon, who was sentenced to four months in prison back in November of 2022 because, much like other idiots in the Trump clan, like, for example, Peter Navarro, who also talked himself into the slammer, they refused Congress subpoenas from the January 6th committee. And although he appealed this sentence and was permitted to stay out of jail since then, he now has been ordered to report to prison starting in July, which means he will get out just in time for the upcoming November election. Full disclosure, this chart shows a 9.30 p.m. birth time, which was cited or proposed, I can't remember, by an anonymous source a few years ago, and I'm using it because a Leo ascendant does fit his physique and his personality quite well. But still, this chart has not been verified by any credible source, meaning that we cannot totally trust the ascendant or the moon position. However, there is still plenty of correlating evidence by looking at everything else. For one thing, notice that he is given the news that he has lost his appeal and must report to prison with transiting Jupiter opposing his son which being a Sagittarius sun, ruled by Jupiter, is extra significant. But the main point is that Jupiter squares and oppositions frequently correlate with setbacks, and this one is no exception. Early July means he enters the slammer right around the Saturn and Neptune stations, proving once again that if Saturn stations anywhere in a sign that squares your sun sign... Pisces square Sagittarius, and of course possibly also opposes your moon because the moon might be in Virgo, and even though the natal sun and moon by degree are pretty far away from the 19 and a half degree Saturn and Pisces station, nevertheless, the planet of accountability, Saturn, might just summon you to pay for your sins, which is in fact what it is doing. Neptune's spicy station does not connect directly by degree to any of his planets either, but it also squares his sun sign and is stressfully aligned to his Pluto and his Neptune by way of the dreaded 150 degree in conjunct aspect that frequently will correlate with uncomfortable results. And it is curious to see that as we move toward next month, transiting Uranus is squaring his natal Pluto, the planet which at his birth was stationary and therefore describes his authoritarian fascistic impulses. Uranus in transit squaring it says, nope, into jail you go. This is where we see that the 9.30 p.m. time could turn out to be correct because in a chart with 9.30 p.m. and Leo rising, the natal Uranus is in the 12th house of prisons, which means... Being in the prison house, it is transiting square to a rising natal planet, and well, that's a perfect astrological reflection. The prison planet punishing the rising personality planet in Leo, the bombastic and arrogant display we are used to seeing from this dastardly and very poor excuse for a human being. Finally, like I said at the beginning, this dangerous demagogue is slated to come out of sequestration in November, just in time for the election, and I wonder how he will be feeling then. Well, even when he comes out, the Uranus cycle is not going to be finished with that Pluto until well into the spring of 2025. So the unhappiness continues on that account. By November, Neptune's cycle is pretty much as unfavorable as it is in early July, so that's no help either. But most worryingly for him, and happily for us, is transiting Jupiter in a 150 alignment to his Venus at the time of the vote, and worst of all, another Saturn station in November, just like back in late June, early July, except that in November, much closer to his sun degrees and possibly his moon placement as well. In other words, good odds we will have an unhappy, sloppy Steve in November of 2024. Hmm, I wonder why.